Hey guys, uh, welcome back for a short lesson doing a couple more of these empirical formula problems. But here's the jokes. First of all, a riddle. What has two hands, a big round face, always runs, but stays in place? I'll say that again. What has two big hands, a big round face, always runs, but stays in place? A clock. Okay, and this one I like a little bit better. What did one knife say to the other knife? You're looking pretty sharp today. So I like that one. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's just quickly review. So what is going to be due, and I'll take questions on this tomorrow. So uh, the worksheet, which again, uh, we went over pretty in depth in class on Tuesday, yesterday. These problems from the book. And then I'm going to do the practice, and you guys do the quiz. And I'll take questions on this tomorrow and then on Thursday. And then if you if you guys uh, have questions, and I just need that to, uh, turned in to me by um, just by Friday morning, by the time I, I check my email Friday morning. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to do the practice. This is 9-4. Okay, so we're going to do both the empirical and the molecular form. Okay, so for number one, again, so go through the steps here. So this is the practice. Okay, so I've got 9.1% hydrogen. And percents I do the same thing with that I do with, with the grams. I do the same thing. And then it says that the molar mass... 132. Okay, so what I'm trying to find is the empirical formula and the molecular formula. Okay, so I've got H, C, and O. Okay, so what I'm going to be trying to find are the subscripts for those. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to divide each of these by their atomic mass. And here again, I want to have at least three sig figs. Okay, so I'll slow down here. So dividing each by their atomic mass, what I'm really doing here is I'm converting each to moles. Here I have three different numbers. The smaller number is going to go on the bottom. So I'm going to put 2.2 two way here. Okay. Right. So I'm going to put 2.2 and what I should get here, this should be either really close to a whole number or a half number. So this is 3.99 or 4. Two and one. So, so what I get here is four, two, and one. So H four, C two O or O one. So there is the empirical formula. Okay, now the molecular formula. I take the the mass that's given here, one thirty two, and I find the mass of this. So for this, four hydrogens would be four. Hydrogen twelve times two is twenty four. And oxygen is sixteen. So that is 44. So I took the mass that was given to me, and then I divide by the mass of the empirical formula, and so that is 3. So what I'll do is I'll multiply all these by 3. So I get H12C6O3. So there is the molecular formula. So once I found that, and this should always be a whole number, and then I multiply all of those, all the subscripts by that 3, so 12, 6, and 3. Okay, so those are the answers for number 1. Okay, I'll give you a minute, or if you want to take a picture of that, you can. Okay, and then number 2. Okay, so number 2 in practice says that we have, and again, percents, you do the same thing that you do with grams. So I'm 80% carbon, 
I have 20% hydrogen, and the molar mass is 30 grams per mole. Okay, so let me erase this. <clears throat> Okay, so again, step number one, and again, I'm trying to find the empirical formula and the molecular formula. So I've got CH. So I'm going to divide each by their atomic mass. Again, go at least three sig figs. So there's... Uh, getting both into moles, and then I divide by the smaller number. This is the smaller number. So the empirical formula is C1H3. So divide by their atomic mass, and then do a ratio or divide, put the smaller number on the bottom. Okay, now for the molecular formula, I'm going to take the 30, and I'm going to find the mass of this. So I have 12 plus 3, which is 15. So that's going to go on the bottom. So here's the, the mass, the number that was given to me, divided by this mass, and that's 2. And then I'll multiply both of these by 2, so I'm going to see 2, H6. So there's the empirical and the molecular formula. Okay, so then you have the quiz, and again, I'll, I'll take, the, at the beginning of class on Thursday, I'll take a couple of minutes to take any questions you guys have on that, and then that'll just need to be turned into me by the, the worksheet, the problems from the book, the practice, and the quiz, like you've been doing, just PDF, or uh, PDF and just scan it to me by uh, Friday morning. So, guys, I will see you at a Google Meet on, uh, on Thursday.